Well, boys and girls, welcome to my channel. I'm the Upskid Ancho PD, and for today, what I have here is chapter 10, alright, of Condemned. So, I believe this is the last level, not really sure. So, welcome to the Grumpy Turtle. <coughs> so, let's read this Internal Report 779 City Crime War Summary Federal Agencies Intervene. The governor, citing outside direction, has given command of the city excavating crime problems to federal agencies. When questioned about the specific agencies involved by local press, no department names were forthcoming. This has left many to wonder if these phenomena are contained locally or are actually posing a national threat. So after all, it seems that this is only local. Okay, so let's go. Welcome to consciousness, my friend. Though you won't enjoy it long. <sighs> we were good in the beginning. But you turned out to be kind of a failure, didn't you? <laughs> you still don't get it? <laughs> I've been using you, Ethan Thomas. <laughs> I watched you, and followed you, and used you to find the serial killers you so desperately sought, and then kill them. Oh, okay. I know it. I must admit, I was a bit dramatic. Killed them the same way they'd killed their own victims. <laughs> a bit of fun, you know? <laughs> I got good at it. Shame it ruined you at the Bureau. But some things are unavoidable. Of course, since you're no longer going to be any help, there's no reason to go on this way. How would you prefer to die? Oh, I didn't like the torturer's methods much. Too risky. Perhaps a slit across the throat, like the roadside carver. Ah, short and sweet. Or maybe the bone cutter. Neatly dissected the body, removed the internal organs, and labeled them for the police to find. Oh, yes, he was one of mine, too. We were so close to him, but I got there first. <laughs> Perhaps it would be better if you lost a finger. Oh, <laughs> Quickly! You must find and destroy it. It has caused all this madness. Go kill it. Oh, oh shit. And uh, sorry, what? Probably is mentioning about that guy that keeps appearing. Just probably. I have no idea. But probably it is that. Let's go. Holy shit, what the hell is happening? You belong to us, Ethan. You always belong to us. What are we? Alien? I'm a fucking alien or what? Probably I am, I don't know. Saving good stuff. I'm not sure if this is a coincidence, but the metal piece was set near these eyes, so probably the metal pieces were always near these eyes, I don't know. Oh, we shit, here it comes. I can use the taser. So it's going to be on with fighting from now on. No, I'm not. Oh, fuck yourself, man. Are you a boss? I don't think so. But surely you are really tough. Really tough guy.
is a dead guy there. Ah, oh, no, it's not a dead guy. Strange. Too much silence now. But he's pissed off. Or bad idea this is, but well, not bad, but not good either. Let's go. Must be avoided. Oh, no. He's really pissed. What? As soon as we need some med kits now. Oh, here comes the small ones. I need my kit. Yeah, as soon as we need health. Okay, let's go. Let's go. What the hell is going on in here? in here might be useful so two math kits on the track What? 
So on with this. Okay, let me get the other med kit. Or elf kit, whatever. Let's proceed. I don't think this is as handed. more of them. Let's fight to the light, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, whoa. Oh, shit. Okay, two of them now. This one is running away. Okay, here it comes again. It was close to me. Oh, we fuck. That gone pretty well. Four bullets. What about yours? Damn. Perfect. Let's go. and ammos and stuff. I'm fine. Ah, mm. uh, shit. Come. <coughs> My girlfriend is calling me. I'm so quiet in this level. <laughs> I'm really inside the game now. I see. So where are you now? How can I get inside? First time I collected all of them. Miracle. Oh shit. Saving. What's this? So the duel and a ton of medkits. Come on. 
Let's go, you weirdo. Ah, okay. You want me to come to fight when I do with your minions? And I still don't have a taser now. Go for the attacks for your mind. Concentrate with a lot of these guys around. I mean, the smaller ones. The fire axe, what the fuck? Where do you get that? What's this? of all of them here. Already? It's like we are hurting ourselves. Van Orden. 
I can never go back, can I? No, not to the Bureau, not to your old life. Thomas, you have looked into the face of hate, the visage of evil. Know that hate is in your soul, too. It is, sadly, everywhere. Mastering one's fear and controlling one's hatred is perhaps the most difficult thing one can do. Well, at least it's over. It's dead, and the killings will stop. Stop the car. No, no, you still don't understand. He's done unspeakable things, even though those he killed were killers themselves. But he isn't responsible. He's not in his right mind. He's... Stop the goddamn car now! I remember something about the ending of this game that I think we need Open the to shoot truck. or not. And I think I'm going to make the two finals in here. Thomas, don't! He was a good boy. We were all good people. We were able to fight it back, most of us. My nephew was not as strong. He fell victim and destroyed so many things. We fought to save him. I, I, I must continue to do so. I don't care whether the sick fuck is in his right mind or not. Think of what you are doing! Both of you have a chance for redemption. Redemption? Listen, old man, you used me just like he did. You you used me to save your precious nephew, a, a serial killer. You're, you're no better than he is. These guys are more than less the symbol of fate, I think. With compassion or revenge? I think I will have compassion. Okay, I think it was better. You really know how to impress a lady, Thomas. <laughs> Around here, people keep to themselves. Why the lay-low routine? I've been cleared of the murders, but my suspension has got me thinking. I guess I just... I don't know who to trust anymore. Yeah, tough break. Man, you look like crap. Yeah, I've been better. You said you found something interesting? Yes, very odd. A cult seems to be behind all this. We can tie them to the deaths of the serial killers investigated by your department. A cult? The man responsible was Leland Van Horn. Yes, I know. He manipulated both you and us, but where is he? We have no Leland Van Horn in custody. He... Uh, look, I explained all of this in my deposition to the Bureau. But a lot of unanswered questions remain, Thomas. Which brings me to why I'm here. Maybe we could make better sense of all this if a few more were found, but under the circumstances, you did well. <sighs> anyway, the results suggest a group may be behind all this, and lots of other criminal activity around the city. Do you know anything about this? Who these people are? Are you affiliated with them in any way? Rosa, can I trust you? No. I know. Of course you can trust me, Thomas. We've been through a lot together. Look, I have no idea what any of it means. Something weird, something unexplainable happened during my investigation, but truthfully, the questions you ask, I, I just, I can't answer. I'm sorry, Rosa. I'm sorry too, Thomas. I really am. Take care of yourself.
fuck is this? This ending was pretty weird. Let's continue. And it ends. So guys, I completed the game. I will try to do the other way, the other ending after this, okay? And with this, I will remove my chit chat right now. Hope you did enjoy this series. And that will hope to see you soon in another series. Thank you a lot for watching. And that will hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Thank you a lot for being with me all the time.
can never go back, can I? No, not to the Bureau, not to your old life. Thomas, you have looked into the face of hate, the visage of evil. Know that hate is in your soul, too. It is, sadly, everywhere. Mastering one's fear and controlling one's hatred is perhaps the most difficult thing one can do. Well, at least it's over. It's dead, and the killings will stop. Stop the car. No, no, you still don't understand. He's done unspeakable things, even though those he killed were killers themselves. But he isn't responsible. He's not in his right mind. He's... Stop the goddamn car now! Open the trunk. Thomas, don't! He was a good boy. We were all good people. We were able to fight it back, most of us. My nephew was not as strong. He fell victim and destroyed so many things. We fought to save him. I, I, I must continue to do so. I don't care whether the sick fuck is in his right mind or not. Think of what you are doing. Both of you have a chance for redemption. Redemption? Listen, old man, you used me just like he did. You you used me to save your precious nephew, a, a serial killer. You're, you're no better than he is. You really know how to impress a lady, Thomas. Around here, people keep to themselves. Why the lay-low routine? I've been cleared of the murders, but my suspension has got me thinking. I guess I just... I don't know who to trust anymore. Yeah, tough break. Man, you look like crap. Yeah, I've been better. You said you found something interesting? Yes, very odd. A cult seems to be behind all this. We can tie them to the deaths of the serial killers investigated by your department. A cult? The man responsible was Leland Van Horn. Yes, I know. He manipulated both you and us. But where is he? We have no Leland Van Horn in custody. He... Uh, look, I explained all of this in my deposition to the Bureau. But a lot of unanswered questions remain, Thomas. Which brings me to why I'm here. Maybe we could make better sense of all this if a few more were found, but under the circumstances, you did well. <sighs> anyway, the results suggest a group may be behind all this, and lots of other criminal activity around the city. Do you know anything about this? Who these people are? Are you affiliated with them in any way? Rosa, can I trust you? Of course you can trust me, Thomas. We've been through a lot together. Look, I have no idea what any of it means. Something weird, something unexplainable happened during my investigation, but truthfully, the questions you ask, I, I just, I can't answer. I'm sorry, Rosa. I'm sorry too, Thomas. I really am. Take care of yourself. <laughs>